the Prime Minister now gets to go back to the drawing board where he can keep delaying this investigation, continue his cover-up and find someone else to do his bidding. They should tell us what would be the terms of reference. How will they protect the national security interests of Canadians? Who might lead this process in a proper way? Mr. Speaker, we can't wait two and a half years for more process to unfold to get the answers we need about interference in our democracy that affects all members and all parties of this House. Former Governor General David Johnston turned in his resignation, stepping down as special rapporteur on elections interference following intense opposition scrutiny over perceived conflicts of interest with the Trudeau family. The Prime Minister had wanted Johnston to be the final arbiter on the decision to call an inquiry into elections interference, something he rejected. The government now says everything's back on the table, but will they bow to opposition demands for an inquiry? I spoke with Democratic Institutions Minister Dominic LeBlanc a little bit earlier. Hi, Minister LeBlanc, good to see you. Hi, Vashi. I appreciate you making the time. Um, I, I wanted to start off just by asking you, if the opposition is able to reach a consensus on A, holding an inquiry, B, the terms of reference, and C, the person leading it, will you accept those recommendations? Well, I mean, that's a hypothetical question, Vashi. We'd obviously, I mean, no, no responsible government is going to give a blank check uh, to opposition parties on something as important as protecting the national security of Canada, the safety of Canadians. But uh, I, I take what you're, what you're asking in, in the question um, by saying if they come up with constructive suggestions around how we all want to strengthen Canadians' confidence in democratic institutions, what do we do around the legislative obligation by law to protect this information? What's the kind of person that can benefit from consensus in Parliament and amongst Canadians to lead it, I think we can very quickly arrive at a, at a, at a consensus. But the theoretical idea, we're, we're not delegating to them the responsibility of being a responsible government. What we're saying is this whole conversation would benefit from all of us lowering the partisan tone. And I'm encouraged just in the last 48 hours, Vashi, about our ability to try and work out exactly those questions that you properly identified. Why didn't you consult on those questions so much earlier? What well, we did, we, we consulted with them. We thought that a special rapporteur process, similar to what Mr. Harper had used, for example, uh, around the decision to call the Oliphant inquiry into the Airbus scandal, um, we thought that having an eminent person look at uh, all of these issues, consult and come up with recommendations, including if there should be a public inquiry and how it might proceed. That's what we asked David Johnston to do. We consulted the opposition about who could be that person to do this preliminary work. They chose not to participate in that process and then they waited and decided to attack Mr. Johnston. That's, that's behind us now. Mr. Johnston has decided to step aside. We're interested in finding the right person with the appropriate experience in terms of the national security context, uh, but the credibility to lead this public process. I'm encouraged, Vashi, by what we're hearing, and I think Canadians would all benefit from us trying to work constructively together, and I, I think that's the work we can do quickly. I'll tell you why I'm asking both of those questions. It's because uh, essentially, I'm trying to figure out how genuine your desire to do that is, right? Uh, you're, you're the one who mentioned it. Everyone's being very partisan. That doesn't absolve the opposition from getting scrutiny over the way they've handled this, but it also doesn't absolve your government. This issue has become very partisan. Why should Canadians believe you are willing to dial down that partisanship and truly consult with the opposition, or are you just kind of kicking the can down the road to postpone a decision on the inquiry? Well, not at all, and I, 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 am, uh, I got a mandate from the Prime Minister to work constructively with the opposition parties, to talk to other Canadians that have experience in this space, retired jurists and so on. Um, we share the concern, Vashi, of opposition parties and a number of people who've commented publicly that this ideally should be a nonpartisan issue um, in the sense that the confidence of Canadians in democratic institutions and our ability to resist, to root out and resist foreign interference in the electoral context. All of us should share that interest. I'm convinced we do. Um, and I, I sense a willingness to look at how the next phase of the public process may very well be a public inquiry, but how can that be done in a way that protects the national security uh, information that's important to our allies and to the safety of Canadians? What's the right kind of person 
who can lead this process and build that consensus amongst Canadians and in Parliament. Um, so uh, this is a sincere effort, and it's also one that's not going to be designed in any way to uh, buy time. We're prepared to move very quickly in the next few days, next week, uh, if we can agree uh, amongst ourselves on the right way to proceed. Uh, Canadians would benefit very much from this exercise, and I think we can do it. We can do it constructively. What's informing your optimism? Uh, because 24 hours ago, when I spoke with you, I think you were calling it a, you know, the whole experience like a part. I think you used the term partisan snowblower or something to that effect. So, 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 what has changed in the last day that lends itself to that that uh, optimism? Well, comments from opposition party leaders in question period today, Vashi. Comments that they made publicly. Conversations I had with uh, one of them. Uh, on uh, on Saturday evening, um, I, I, everybody recognizes. I hope that confidence of Canadians in democratic institutions working together to combat an increasing challenge around foreign interference is something that is very important to our democracy. The government has its responsibility to protect the national security information of Canada. Previous Conservative governments have understood that as well. Uh, but with that limitation, how can we work together? on a public phase of the next steps of the process that will build that consensus in the country, uh, speak to uh, diaspora communities that are also understandably very concerned about these, these issues. Um, we think all of this is very important and we want to do it in a way that's constructive. Um, so I'm an optimistic kind of guy, Vashi. We've known each other for a while. I don't start from a pessimistic perspective. We can look at what happened in the past context in the last number of months. Mr. Johnston's decision uh, to step aside gives all of us a chance to sort of work in a more collaborative way. And I'm certainly not starting this week pessimistically. And I hope that that optimism can lead us to quickly finding a way forward. I just have a, a few short seconds left, uh, Minister. You said you spoke with one of the opposition leaders. Do you plan to speak to all of them this week? And does that include Pierre Polyev? Well, of course it would, Vashi. I've known Mr. Polyev. We've been in the House of Commons together for almost 20 years. Uh, when I was six some years ago, he was very kind to me. Uh, we have a constructive personal relationship. Um, I know and respect these colleagues. I don't see why we can't have those conversations quickly. As I say, uh, it's a work the Prime Minister asked me to do, uh, and I'm, I'm not going to waste any time whatsoever. Okay, Minister, I'm out of time. I'll leave it there. I appreciate yours. Thank you. Thank you very much, Vashi. Have a great evening.